for the muckers, I found my tripod. Well, just the thing that goes in the bottom of the camera. I've always had the tripod. I just lost the little bottom thing because I'm an idiot. Um, we're going to do some studio vids. We're going to try and dip it in the last one I did because the last one I did was rubbish. So we're just going to pretty much zoom in on my screen, I think, which will probably look just as bad, but at least I'll give you an idea. I don't know. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. I'm not an expert at this stuff, at this video stuff, even though I make one every freaking day. Damn, it doesn't look bad at all. All right, so this is a new song I'm working on. It's 110 BPM. It's not, I wouldn't call, call, call it Moombaton because it's not like, it's not like, Oh, no, but gasolina. It's not like, but it is at the same time. Um, so we have a uh, eight bar intro, a 32 bar or a 16 bar thing, and then a 16 bar build, and then a 16. Well, now, right now I have an eight bar drop. And I don't really care about typical fashion stuff to, to, to what structure your songs, because, uh, or tracks, whatever you want to call them, because I like calling them songs and not tracks, and thinking the songs in mind and having no care about what I'm going to make. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not even going to care right now. So-and-so does this, big deal. So-and-so structures a song like this, so so-and-so and so-and-so -so can work it into the mix, big deal. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, you guys probably think I'm the dumbest tutorial teacher in the world, but I don't even care because I don't even care. I'll show you a little, little quick stuff and then I'll give you some download of what I did to make it. Symbols. Our other symbols. Our real drums. Which is side chain to our kick. I love that. We have our 808 booms. crazy delay thing on it and the delay is actually in the coolest easy mix thing in the world my favorite thing in the world easy mix the preset is delay filter piano from the mark needleham um, preset pack the mark needleham preset pack is probably one of my favorite preset packs besides the original then we got the human bass which is basically just a plug-in from garage band and I did some stuff like put some easy mix on that <laughs> and uh, some pretty pretty uh, violent EQ to make sure I didn't want any bass and I really wanted you to hear that hum sound so I bounced the low ends and I want you to hear what note it was so I, so I bounced the, the mids but I killed the lows which gives you a <laughs> give me my little cool little pattern too I don't know I like it's very uh, jazzy which is, inspired me to do something I'll explain in a second and this is a uh, A little bit of ambiance. I'm actually gonna drown that a little bit because I might give it make everything sound and bleed. But it's just some weird thing I was screwing around with the FM8 in and um, sampled it and then glitched it all up like a boss. Um, then we got the cool stuff. Uh, you can find any sample you want. Doesn't matter what it's playing. Put it into Melodyne and then make it play exactly what you want it to play. So you can kind of like, when you hear a sample, instead of making a beat based off of that sample, you can make that sample fit your beat. So I, I don't even, it's sampling in a sense, but I change what it plays. You can go, or you can, I don't know, we could make this in a different key. Or we could even make 
make these different. inspired me because this thing was super jazzy, this little pattern, like kind of old school. Like... Little pattern. So I also did uh, horns. And then both this horn and bass are heavily side-chained with the kick. Great shaggy impersonations to the offbeat vocals. So it's like double compression. Uh, that might not be the best term in way, but I don't care. So I have one that just ducks it. It's sad, right? Get the initial duck, and then this this compressor. If this was the order of compressors, it would go here, then a limiter, and then the other compressor. So the first compressor ducks, and it's supposed to come in, but it's not coming in because this one ducks even more. But this one reacts basically off this one. So the, the signal that this one receives is already the pre-duct one. 
So you have a pre-duct, and then this one is afterwards. So it should come in like these. Improv like that, like I was like, ooh, maybe this would sound cool. And if you're thinking that's the most random idea I've ever had, why are you thinking that? I don't know. I'm just doing stuff, having fun. You know, I I I actually do not like that, so I'm gonna delete that. And then, I don't know. I like my kick and snare, the way they punch through the mix. I don't know, so that's a little bit of just what I was working on today. I started the idea yesterday with the sampling and whatnot, and then got pissed and then turn it off, and then start doing it again today, and we're all good. Ah! The point is for real. <laughs> all right, goodbye. Like my purdy background? Like my purdy background? You like my purdy background? Does it make you happy? Do you like my purdy background? Does it make you happy? Yeah, my pretty background does make you happy.